Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Sam. Chancellor, President Cahoon, Board of Governors, Deans, Coast Salish people, faculty and staff, family and friends, and of course, the stars of today, the 2013 graduating class. Congratulations. I am honored to be here today to celebrate all you've accomplished at RU and all the great things that you will do as you put into practice what you have learned from this amazing university and your experiences here. What would you do if you weren't afraid? That is the question. That question is the title of the first chapter in Sheryl Sandberg's new book, Lean In. And as I read it, I paused and I thought about what that means to me as an alumni of RRU, an advocate for diversity and inclusion, a member of the gay community, a wife, and a mother. It all came back to one thing. I would always have the courage. The courage to try new things, the courage to fail, and the courage to challenge and inspire change in others. I've been honored with the Spring 2013 Alumni Excellence Award, and it applauds my courage. But let me be honest, I still face moments when I'm afraid and I don't always have the courage. As simple as being inclusive and authentic may sound, it's not easy to practice. Let's be real, sometimes it is simpler to take the easy way out, but the beauty is that every day, presents us with opportunities to have courage and to act on simple moments that matter in the everyday lives to make a difference. Each one of you as graduates had the courage to embark on your learning journey and I know from first-hand experience that it takes a lot of courage to make it to this day. As you walk across the stage today, live and enjoy the moment. Strut your stuff like those in residence peacocks do. <laughs> because you have earned it. Today doesn't mark the end of your journey with our year. Oh no, it's just the beginning. You see, what you have learned here is now ingrained in you. It's not just about the degree that you've earned. In fact, I would argue that while the teachings serve to broaden and deepen your knowledge base, it is actually what you've learned about yourself and your fellow learners that will have the biggest impact in your life. You leave here today a different person than the one that first arrived on campus. You are stronger, you are wiser, you are courageous, and you are authentic. You have learned to live outside your comfort zone and to embrace the challenges that come your way. It took commitment to push yourself through those late nights when you thought you would never get the assignments done. It took courage to motivate yourself and others through those low points. And it took strength to continue to juggle all of your responsibilities outside of RRU, while at the same time fulfilling the RRU model to live the learning. And live it you did. You dug deep when you needed to, you found the courage to overcome your fears. You discovered the patience to deal with those peacocks. And you embraced your humility when you realized another learner had a better idea than you. Your experience at RRU has taught you that your capacity to cope and adapt far exceeds what you imagined it could. You leave here today knowing you can overcome your fears through the courage that lives in you. And most importantly, that when you are your authentic self, you empower others to be their authentic selves. And consequently, endless opportunities emerge. Tomorrow, it will take courage to look out into the world with your degree in hand, armed with the knowledge of whom you've discovered yourself to be, and decide what is next for you. To say my RRU experience was life-changing for me would be an understatement. In my younger years, I tried hard to fit a mold that I thought was made for me. 
And while on the outside everything appeared to be fine, I lived in a very prosperous country, Canada, had a good job, a family, played sports, and shared my life with a wide circle of friends. I wasn't listening to my heart. I was denying who I was because it was different. Different from the person I thought I had to be. Imagine all the energy that goes into trying to fit to be the person you think everyone else wants you to be. It's a complete waste of time. I was never truly happy and I lived a superficial life to please others. During my time at RRU, I discovered in myself the courage to let the real me come out. And while it exactly hasn't been a smooth road from there to here, I can confirm it was the best decision of my life, aside from becoming a mother. When I finally made the choice to make myself happy, it's when real success followed. Each of you as graduates today owe it to yourself to take the time to reflect on your time here at RRU and make the choice to do what makes you happy in life, not what is expected. Share your stories, your memories, your insights, and your experiences. Don't leave them behind. They are part of you now. Embrace who you are and all that you have learned at RRU and take it back to your office, your classroom, your hockey team, your poker game, your community, and your home. Equally as important, take the lesson that RRU teaches each and every day. Diversity of thought through inclusion and teaming. Have the courage to challenge the status quo, to seek the valuable perspectives of those around you, whether it is in the workplace, as a volunteer, a student, or a friend. Be an inclusive leader. Be the one who pushes themselves to take advantage of the moments that matter most. What I took away from my time here at RU, aside from my wife, really, I met my wife here, was the power of inclusion and diversity of thought, which has led to success in my career, in my life, and in my community. Courage lives in each one of us. Harness that and challenge yourself to be who you are meant to be. As I tell my children, Jordan and Amanda, be yourself, follow your instincts. Don't allow the ignorance or intolerance of another person force you into an identity that isn't you. Understand that people who feel good about themselves want to make others feel good about themselves. And you don't need to knock the joy out of someone. Those who belittle others for their differences do it from a place of fear and insecurity. They do this because they don't know how to solve their own problems, so they find it easier to blame others. They do this because they feel hopeless and ashamed of who they are, so they need to tear you down to feel better about themselves. People fear what they don't understand. After I left RRU, I joined Deloitte and started a diversity and inclusion practice. I chose diversity and inclusion because my experience at RRU helped me realize what we are losing in our boardrooms, our classrooms, and our playgrounds when we allow others to put a box around us and limit us. To set limitations based on bias and preconceived opinion is admitting defeat before the game has even begun. In the words of Mark Twain, keep away from people who try to belittle you or others for differences. Small people always do that. But the really great, they make you feel that you too can be really great. As I look out onto the future of Canada sitting before me, I'm inspired at the greatness that will come from each of you. Thank you.